So with this one, it started with an idea. Like a lot of things. If you're a creator, you know what I mean. You know, the kind of idea that you can't stop thinking about. The kind that keeps you up at night. The kind that just doesn't let go. And in order to get that idea done, I needed some help. So I reached out to some of my friends and they were happy to help. This one was big. At least for me. Bigger than anything I've ever done. And the more I thought about it, the bigger it got, the, the more it developed. I wanted it to be special, like truly, truly special. Something that is one of a kind, something that no one can replicate, just like a single unit in the world. So this project I'll call what the title says, if Peter McKinnon had a Your PC, mate. Hey. this is what he would do. But I know he's- What on earth is all this about? First of all, get to the point, yeah? Mumbling about great idea and how it came about. <laughs> Second of all, all the soundtrack and, and sound effects. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, better than what you usually cook up. So, how do you get it? How, how did you do it? Do you mean how did you do it? Well, it's called Artlist and they're sponsoring the video. And if you're looking for a great music and sound effects site to license your music, use the link in the description below and get two months for free. Ah! Okay, so. One of the most important features of Artlist, what this beautiful face forgot to mention, is the one license covers everything aspect. So all projects are covered with a single license without any extra fees and it's worldwide. Cheeky one, aren't ya? I see what you did there. But your flipping b-roll makes no sense, mate. Ridiculous! It's got absolutely nothing to do with the video! All I've got to say is, sign up for Artgrid and get the access to unlimited stock footage. All the B-roll you'll ever need. Use the link below and get two months for free. Don't you dare put B-roll over me! Um, I'm here. And last I checked, you're the one who's you, editing. You're really getting on my nerves, you. You know what's wrong with you. You've watched Sam Newton's video, and you think Peter's gonna mention everyone who's gonna create anything about him, don't you? Nope. Yeah, you do. Mm, nope. Mm. Oh yeah, you do. Nope. You should know this. Oh, yeah. I was filming this video before he published mm -hmm. a video, alright? Excuses, excuses. Can I get to the point now? Yeah, sure. What are you blaming me for? Anyway, this is what I built. So yeah, the title says all about the project and this has been taken a very long time to make this video and gather the parts over six months, trying to get some of the parts in and you know what the stock is like these days. But I couldn't have done it without all the people who helped in this project. So if you are one of those guys who helped, big thanks to you, especially Artlist for partnering for this project. But I wanna talk about what's going on over here and for those people who don't know who Peter McKinnon is, then what's going on over here and what, you know, what's this owl go looking over here like? But those people who know Peter McKinnon, they're probably like, wow, the, the, the owl, it's the owl. Okay, so I wanna go a little bit into the design and why did they use these parts and like, how does this represent Peter McKinnon? And obviously people who know Peter like personally or more, cause obviously I, I don't really know Peter. I just know what I can see over the internet, but you know, what you can see of the style and things, let me know if, if this is something that he would actually like. Um, so comment below if you know that. The reason why I started to do this whole project or why I wanted to do this theme build was because I was seeing some parts online that looked so cool and so slick, so smart, so minimalistic design. And I thought, 
I would really like to use them on a build, but there was no reason to make the build. But then I thought, what if I made like a themed build? And I was thinking, okay, who would fit this themed build? Or who would be the person who really kind of comes out with a very clear design or very clear personality and very clear like merch so if you see like this owl or if you see the coin which we're going to talk about in a moment in there you know exactly who this pc is supposed to be for or who this product is for so the first person to pop in my mind obviously was peter mckinnon because i thought okay it's very clear style and one of the coolest thing is I know that he's a Mac user. As much as I can see from his videos, I've never seen him use a PC. Now, please comment and tell me if I'm wrong, but if Peter McKinnon had a PC, this is what he would have. Let's talk about the design, and I'm gonna start with the cherry on top of the cake, which is the coin inside the AIO over there. And you are absolutely right. This is an authentic Canadian $30 coin, which did not cost $30, by the way. Much, much more. It lets us say my visa bill still needs paying. There's 5,000 of these made in the world. And if you know, you know, Peter McKinnon's Moraine Lake photo is on the back of the coin. And I managed to get the serial number 0001. So the very first coin with the very first serial name, this is inside there. Believe it or not, there is certifications to prove that. I bought this from Canada. It took like weeks and weeks to ship over. And when I finally got it, I was like, yes, finally, we can order all the other parts. Because if that wasn't going to happen, then I would have not made this PC, but this was this was one of the key elements that I wanted to use. It's basically a very expensive coin display unit. Very expensive and very powerful. You can edit video on it. It's absolutely almost balls to the wall specs on this. Absolutely powerful. I'm gonna leave all the specs in the description below for those nerds who really wanna dig into what exact parts I'm gonna use there. But what I wanna talk about is the design and what um, you know is going on over here. As well as looking very good, it is also super, super powerful. Like it can shred through any video, you can throw it pretty much. And that's what I wanted to go for. There's loads of SSD storage in there. There's no hard drives. So all the storage is super, super fast and there's a lot of it. So as much as the design that I can kind of grasp from over the internet, you know, what Peter has is he always wears black clothes and very like a cool design type of things, right? Uh, from his office and things, what you can see, he has a design and I'm hoping that this can represent him quite well as well. So I wanted the PC to be like main features that it's matte black. It's matte black, it looks stealth and there is not much of like other things going on. It's like a minimalistic black and as you can see inside, this motherboard was one of the key components to get it done because this motherboard is one, the only one in the world I can find that has this like black design. Obviously the previous generations of the same motherboard has the same, but this is the latest one and running the latest Intel processor. It's all very minimalistic and black. It's got a black covering. Usually motherboards have like loads of, you know, pins and things coming out and it just looks messy. And as much as it's, there's RGB and stuff, it just doesn't look good. Whereas this is just like stealth. And then everything else needed to be black as well. So if you want to see how I built this and how a lot of the things were painted black as well, because originally they weren't black or weren't available in matte black. Then I painted a lot of these things and this is this is what's going on. But then the rest of the parts, I wanted to kind of represent the stealth look as well. So obviously we're going with one of the most powerful graphics cards over there. We have an NVIDIA card RTX 3070. Uh, I didn't have money for the 3080 and 3090, but also uh, it would have not been very good for this build because the 3080 and 3090 would have been way too big like coming forward so much more and it just would have not kind of fit in in terms of proportion it would have been out of proportion so i thought this is a perfect card it looks like stealth matte black from the top over there and then we have a little bit of like a different gunmetal gray over there but i think it fits very nice in the build because kind of the shine of some of the things inside there 
fits in very well with this this graphics card let me know what you think i wanted the matte black design to have some kind of accent that brings out some of the things that you know if you have just a black painting you just think okay what's going on there but if you have a little bit of color in there it kind of spices things out so i was thinking what color or what could i go for then i went with light blue and the light blue is matching the color on the moraine lake as you can see if you know the coin the moraine lake is is this very nice like color on the lake and on the sky which should be matching this color on the, the actual sleeved cables as you can see and this ram in there as well so it's all like a kind of blue light blue color also painted the power button light blue over there which just adds just a, like a little touch going with this ram was because all of these every single little like dot on this ram is customizable so i can change the color from this and i wanted the ram to kind of point towards the main feature of this which is this coin holder or aio as pc guys would call it it just points towards it which i think looks very very cool as well if you know this channel i'm not usually going with rgb or i'm not like a rgb you know unicorn vom guy i'm quite glad that this uh, little accent of rgb or just little accent of some color in here works really well now the other very important fact of this is that all of this case has been wrapped with a special design now this took one of the most times to figure because the whole case had to be taken apart and i um, needed to get something designed exactly to fit this obviously from this angle it's not as good because the owl eye doesn't look in the center but it's better if you look at it straight on from this angle you can see that the owl's eye is actually lining up and if you don't know what's going on over here then this is the james coffee house owl um or redesign of it or kind of mock up from that design uh, slightly changed because i think there should be a, like a canadian flag somewhere over there as well but obviously that didn't make the cut so sorry about that but this is that owl and i wanted the owl eye to kind of light up and if you know this case design then this case design has one of these two fans in the center on the top but this one i managed to kind of off the center there is this fan over here that lights up and the owl eye lights up when the computer is on now to figure and line everything up let's just say it took some time but i'm very happy how it looks and if you're wondering yes this is one of the owl mouse pads over there pretty cool hey uh, because the guy who actually made the wrap also uh, gave me this for free so if someone wants to buy this pc i'm gonna give this for them as well but it is representing that one five thousand in the corner and this owl i know it says one five thousand as if i'm making five thousand pieces of these but actually there's just one in the world you can't make a replica of this this is it because the coin wouldn't be the same now in terms of the back of the case obviously i can't show you this but in the back of the case I wanted there to be also like everything kind of filled out because often you see PC builds and they're like, okay, yeah, just a few RAMs and there we go. I wanted the RAM slots to be filled. I wanted the SSD slots to be filled. I wanted everything to be filled. So if you look in the back of the case, there is some Vulcan SSDs by Team Group and they have like an eagle or owl on. So kind of the same bird theme going on as, as close as we can. And we have 1.5 terabytes over there, 500 gigabyte and one terabyte for this. And then there's two more SSDs from the front so you have one terabyte nvme super fast and then 500 gigabytes for the os drive so you can have your projects on so basically it's meant for video editing you can do other things as well but kind of video editing workflow you've got your storage workflow as a professional inside this pc and it is super quiet and one of the last things for those geeky little guys who know a little bit about these pieces and this case especially uh, they know that this case is probably not the best for airflow because there is hardly any in Intake. there's a little intake from the bottom little slot and then there's little intake from like or from this side over there it's not enough and often you know your components inside can heat up so what i did is i added a little fan on the bottom over there so the fan is flipped upside down and the fan is actually pushing some air in when it gets hot so it's actually sucking from the bottom of the air vent over there sucking the air up into the front of the case because there's like a gap you know like that in the front over there and then these fans there's one over there and then obviously one further down there with 140 40 millimeters and that's going to push it through this way 
to cool all these components. And when I did a stress test of the GPU and CPU all together, I was very happy with the temp, so I'm happy that it actually works. And I managed to kind of solve the problem of this case, of the thermals or the air intake of this case. So that is it. That is the design. That's what's going on over here. And this is the PC if Peter McKinnon ever had one. Now there's only one question for you. Who should we do next? Comment below.